Hi everyone, Dr. S here. I'm gonna talk to you today about the evolution of your venture learning from E2 to E3. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now, Entrepreneurship 246 is foundations and you've been through this and as you know, what we basically do there is we welcome you to your new community. We do basic evidence-based entrepreneurship where you learn the models, the processes, the tools. You do a lot of teaming. You learn about teams. You learn how to work with each other. You learn how to give feedback. You learn all the different components of that. You learn about idea grit and as our underlying uh, model for developing our own passion and perseverance to bring ideas and to impact over and over throughout our lives. And a lot of it is about discovery. You're discovering yourself. You're discovering your new community. You're discovering new ideas. You're discovering new tools and models and processes in order to be able to do entrepreneurship and innovation. And we've applied these both in a small way with the early stage entrepreneurship and innovation process with E1, where you're taking an idea and you're moving it forward using the big idea canvas and the associated tools. And then in E2, you acted as a professional consultant. And the reason that that was there was so that you could look at the entire business model of an existing organization. You could learn how the business model canvas works. You could use that to describe the business, to analyze the business both inside and outside, and then to ultimately evolve it into a new business model describing how that would happen, what it would cost, etc. So there's a lot of discovery. You were learning new things. E3 and then into E4 is taking all that foundational work and putting it to use in two different contexts. For E3, it's about building out and implementing an entire event in one quarter. And in E4, it's the kickoff of your own venture. So let's talk about E3 some more. E3 is really a time to dream and design. Like what could this be in terms of an event? And the idea is that you'd be partnering with a local entity who could then uh, be a partner for you to run an event for them. And an example of that would be that you're working with a local nonprofit and that you run a fundraising event during that quarter. So you work with the partner, you design it, and you ultimately implement it. Why is an event such a good problem to have to try to grapple with in order to learn evidence-based entrepreneurship? An event is a basically a mini little business. You have to start it, so you go. You have to have an idea. You get the event up. You have to match it to what the external folks want or your customers want, so you have to product market fit. And then you have to ultimately prepare it to launch. You launch it, you do it, and then you ultimately close it down. So it's actually running through the entire cycle, and that allows you to use all of the different tools that you would for an ongoing venture concern, whether it be a nonprofit, an existing uh, or a, a for-profit venture or a social enterprise or whatever, whatever you might have um, in terms of a new venture startup or even a change project inside an existing organization. So doing an event actually really works very well for that. And here are your ultimate uh, objectives that you're trying to do. And a lot of it really is reaching for the same tools that you have been using, but we're practicing it in a different context at a more advanced level and under some significant time pressures. And so you're gonna do all of that as well as you'll be learning some financial stuff related to uh, building out pro forma and actual income statements for the event. So you'll start to actually deal with money as well. And of course, you'll ultimately pitch all of this. E3 should be very exciting. It's going to be definitely market facing. It's going to be an amazing uh, teaming experience for you. And we really look forward to all the creative and amazing work that you do. Let us know if you have any questions. We look forward to getting it kicked off.